everybody. Welcome to the Prime 4 Podcast. My name is Bryce. Chris. Ross. Alex. Uh, go ahead and open your books, uh, The Gospel According to St. Peter by Moses Barrett III. We're going we're gonna to go a little, little bit ahead here. We're going to go to the book, Same Eyes on Me, Chapter 4, I'm Making Moves. I make moves, I make moves, I make moves, I make moves. <laughs> and that will conclude our service today for the Gospel According to St. Peter by Moses Barrett III. All right. Now that we got our Sunday service out of the way, uh-huh. let's talk about another Sunday <clears throat> service. Kanye's, uh... okay, so why is this music video a big deal? What do you mean? The Close for Sunday. <clears throat> Close on Sunday. Or Close on Sunday. Is a video that was released by Kanye West on Thanksgiving. It's um, from his Jesus is King album. Um, Closed on Sunday. You're my Chick-fil-A. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so what's the deal with the music video? Like, what's we, you guys? We, we've opinion? all seen okay. it. And I'm I excited. was told to watch it. I'll give you my And I just watched it before we started video. filming. Sure. It's like if you took, like, super, like, super, Mental super, handicap. like, what is it, overzealous Christianity, and mixed it with the NRA and put it in a video. That's what it felt like to me. I think you're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> I got a cult vibe. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to agree with Bryce. I was going to say some Jim Jones Very, like shit, Yeah, like. Jim Jones, Jonestown, cult stuff, and then it's like... You see that he has all of this land in Wyoming, and he said he's going to start well, hosting Sunday services on this land. He owns like half of it, and he leases the other half from the U.S. government. The other funny part about it is that it's, land was probably indigenous land at one point, so he's probably hosting it on land that was Native American land, which is even funny. Well, I mean, mm. all yeah, I That's mean, bad. ultimately, yeah, <laughs> but it's like. Very, very cultish vibes, like mm-hmm. wearing yeah. the same colors well, and uniform. It's, looking fu- it's and- funny because he said something about that being his land. And yeah, sure, Kanye, it's your land until they want to build a pipeline through it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> then, it, then it ain't your land. <laughs> right, right. One thing he will, he will, he might learn one day that you never actually own any land. Mm-hmm. It is still the government's land. Mm-hmm. Right. You just pay taxes to live on it. Especially when you learn about the airspace above your land and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and that there's limits. Like, yep, exactly. Yeah, you don't own anything. Like, yep. anything yeah. in your life, you don't, you don't fucking own that. Any, they, anybody could take it. Mm-hmm. Anybody sure. meaning the government and robbers. <laughs> yes, I guess, but... And then, too, yeah. like... The clothes that they were wearing were like all of them like designer clothes or I thought that was Kanye's line. Were some of them Kanye's line? No, that's that's all uh, Dickies and Carhartt. Because I was looking at the video because the robes that they were wearing. Yeah, what about those robes that they were wearing? All all the shit that I saw was Dickies and Carhartt. The stuff that almost looked like Jedi clothes, except like not as good. I thought that was Kanye's line. (laughs) It was like you remember Kanye's line, like what was it? A couple years back where Jay-Z said that it looked like futuristic slave clothes or whatever. Yeah, yeah that was Yeezy I was, season whatever. Yeah, I, I was getting those kind of like cultist uniform vibes from that stuff. <laughs> For sure. It's like flowing robes and shit. And then it's like, what's crazy is, as a Kanye fan, like, could I say I've seen this coming? Absolutely not. Because I've been in denial for so long. I'm like, you know what, maybe he just had some sort of and then I'm like I'm seeing these videos and I'm like this shit is happening this shit is a thing so do you think that the narrative is Jesus and then Jesus is king and then next he's gonna say I am Jesus right that's how cults start that's how cults start and then it's like (laughs) from uh, God's lips to my ears to you Mm -hmm. you know you have to kind of go through them and Mm -hmm. I was watching a show on Netflix that was talking about cults and you know you, you have Every cult has a charismatic leader. Every cult, you know, like... Well, yeah, he was saying say something about, like, he isn't him anymore. It's, like, Jesus in him or something. So does that mean everything he does, he's going to say is Jesus now? He'd be with Jesus is a Trump supporter, I guess. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's understandable, like, I guess. That's, that whole dynamic was insane, and it was, like, uh, a friend of mine was, like, 
have you seen this video? It came out on Thanksgiving. I was like, no, I haven't. You know, I kind of disconnected oh, for so Thanksgiving. Oh, so you're saying that we got it Black Friday a year after a year, uh, Yandy was supposed to come out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so he used to say that he was God, but now he's saying God's in him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen kind of, those interviews. It's kind of a roundabout way of saying the same God. exact thing. He's yeah, saying for the sure. same thing, yeah. For sure, and it's like, it's kind of scary because you, you look at the fact that, you know, when, when, it, when it came to cults, it was like a certain community where it was geographical and mm -hmm. you understood that if you didn't want to be part of any of that, you can kind of just stay away from those areas. But mm -hmm. with social media and internet and stuff like that, it makes it less geographical and more mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, this could be the so truth. So is this going to turn out like that one video game or whatever with the cult or whatever? Far Cry 5? Yeah. Could. Yeah. <laughs> or Scientology. Where did that take place? Yeah, Scientology Montana. too. But it's Montana, pretty but close. <laughs> they're using Christianity, but eventually that's how you get people to go in. Yeah. But then you got to change it. You like kind of mold you know, it. We're to going like, easyology. Yeah, some <laughs> shit. Easyology. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. So like Dianetics it. and yep. <laughs> Christianity mixed or something. Yeah, I think did did I tell a Scientology story on here before? I think I did. The time I was in California, I got tricked into going into a uh, Scientology building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it the yeah. Elron Hubbard Museum? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so like. I could see that, you know, whether you believe he's charismatic or not, people are like, oh, yeah, cool, well, you know, we buy his shoes. I actually, like, truth be told, like, some of the songs in there I really like, you know, um, but overall, the idea, I'm like, this is kind of looking worse and worse, so it's not really a good chapter, but I have to see it all the way through, not so much so that I have to appear at a Sunday service, but... I have to like see it all the way through. I, I can't put down a book three quarters of the way and not know what the ending to the book is. So, yeah, it's 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 nuts. Yeah, it's I mean, all, it's just all those people around him, well, like in robes, like it's all, chanting it's to all him. The, yeah. That's the way I want to. It's say all the is. long game to sell more stuff because well, the people he's selling stuff to right now normally wouldn't buy his stuff, right? So oh, ingratiate yeah, yourself sure. in there with so those let's, people, let's, and then all I, of a sudden. That's more return on investment, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because he knows that people who listen to hip hop will probably check it out anyway, right? Yeah. For sure. Let's, and then tax free yeah. stuff with the religion stuff. Like, mm -hmm. yep. that's oh, another yeah. thing. I've like, seen all the memes about that. Yeah. What were you about to say? I was going to say, well, let's, let's, like, let's think about this. Let's flip this. Let's say, like, let's say Eminem was doing the same thing. Like, sure. How would that be interpreted? I think if M came out with an album where. You and know, bought his own place and had people come there. For sure. It's like, well, you got to think, like, when he came out with, say, for example, this, this He already has thing. those people, though, or he did. <laughs> the, he just got all the stands out. at his compound. <laughs> for yeah. sure, just kind of hiding them and hoarding them. But the thing is, is, like, if he came out with this stuff around detox time where he's like, yo, I'm cleaning up and I have a new, you know, it's like that pivotal part yep. in your life where yep. you want to change roads. A lot of people resonate with that because they're at their own pivotal moments, yep. mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, maybe that is the way," and that's how cults get started. Now, well, I think and that's you also got to think there. if he went into some sort of rehabilitation, some people who are stricken with something turn to certain things to escape from that. Yeah, mm -hmm. which for some people could be religion. Yep. Yeah, yep. You know, for sure. For cool. sure. Yeah, it, I, it's it, taking advantage of vulnerable people. Vulnerable people. For I mean, sure. even if you yeah. look at like, let's say the prison system, a lot of well, people find religion in there, mm -hmm. right? America, to be, America's probably has a record high of vulnerable people, like over the last like, well, maybe not since way in the past, but like the recent last hundred years, probably. Well, I mean, you got to look at the fact that I mean, specifically the baby boomers or whatever. Like, <clears throat> you have certain criteria which legally you fall into the category as a vulnerable person, mm -hmm. and that's. Yeah the biggest group right now but you also have these younger kids where um they have you know just kind of that pivotal moment in life all at the same time because it's it's still a great deal of them too the the high beats though, and that, all that stuff so that the boomers a lot of them are considered vulnerable yet they have a lion's share of the middle class money and 
Oh like yeah, that. like <laughs> what's crazy? I mean, but you, you, I mean, we see it all the time, right? You get those trick calls from people who are like, yep. "Yeah, your vehicle warranty," and they're like, "Oh, do I have a warranty?" You know, and they call yep, in. And yep, yep. There's predators out there. There's wolves out there that yep. definitely take advantage of, mm-hmm. of boomers that aren't really educated on what a, uh, a fake call is, or that the IRS is not going to sue you through your local sheriff's office and issue a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> the thing, <laughs> you know. The, the difference I see is I'm going to put this out there, and that is Kanye is stupid, oh, geez. and I don't think that he is capable of pulling off a cult, like uh, a regular well, everyone's cult. Hold on, well, I ain't done. Yeah, well, I, I gonna, ain't done. I'm Even Hitler had Himmler. I don't know. What are you talking yeah, about, like, man? It was Kanye got Kim. <laughs> they got the influence. I was about to say, he's, he's got media, Trump too. Social media is <laughs> he's a very, very. Huge. I don't find him as charismatic. Well, yeah. I, well you don't have him. Is, as, <laughs> no, he is. Well, not everyone's found every cult leader charismatic. That's why not everyone joined the fucking uh, the cult. Exactly. And then on the special, yeah. they said, "Cult plus the joke is cult plus time equals religion." You know, and but you got but like cult leaders, it's like. Smaller cults like what we're thinking of, like they, your leader has to be charismatic and they essentially have to fall in love with you or like to be able to do things that you wouldn't normally do to have like power over them or something. And Kanye just wears his mental illness on his sleeve. Like he is, he is a very abrasive, dramatic cult leader on his sleeve. There is no hiding his intentions. But the thing is, is no though, the people who he's praying right. on don't give a shit about intentions. They vote Republican. Or even know? or even if they don't vote Republican, they are, you know, the type of people where I don't care what statement you're making, you have the balls to make that statement mm-hmm. and I identify yep. with that. Yep. And it's like mm-hmm. I've talked that's to the, plenty that's of the Trump's in Yeah, <laughs> like I've talked to plenty of people that are like, I'm not racist, but I voted for Trump and it's like Oh, he had the balls to say something when no one would and that well, kind of thing. You know, he said it's a like, lot of things and not all of them are Right, yeah. I can't discount that. I can't say that <laughs> no he didn't. I can't say that yes, you are indeed a racist because you voted for Trump. But, like, the more I hear of that narrative, the more I'm like, wow, that's really, like, that's not, that's not cool. You didn't hmm. put a lot of thought into what that. What does he like, have the balls to say in public that other people only say in private, huh? Yeah, that right. that racial stuff? Right? Yeah. Or, or, you know, it's like, if he has the balls to say it to public, like, stick up, be a man of your word, do what you say. Yeah, you, you voted know? Trump, it's like, go fucking vote for him in public. Right? But you got... To, you could it's he's got to be a cult leader you got to get to a specific point where people will do anything for you he had people wearing on a larger scale he has people buying fucking rags for fucking thousand dollars yeah people will do shit for him but that's people not doing things directly for him that's white kids from the suburbs who can afford to buy the futuristic slave clothes and wear them because they think it's cool and it's a fad. A lot of but people, when Kanye is saying, "Pick up that gun and shoot these people that are trying to investigate me on my property," that's the cult. How is it? he needs to get people <laughs> not, to that point to drink the Kool Aid, to burn themselves, to commit mass suicides or something, to murder for him. Like I'm talking drastic. It's he, like. Well, you see, this thing he's got to get to the point where people I'll, do stuff. Well, he's that a he celebrity, says. so there's people who probably would once he finds them already. Because we already look how much we worship celebrities right now. We have a celebrity in the White House yep. that has no political anything. You yep. know what I mean? People he, no already, intellect. yeah, already, already. And even his whole business knowledge is literally about trying to trick people and swindle people. Like <laughs> so, like <laughs> it's like let's see, you hire someone to do something for you and you don't pay them and sue them if they say they're gonna. Yep. You know, for defamation, if, if you're yeah. you're you're rich because of it, and that makes you X Y Z, and you oh, know, what are you talking yeah, about? That's yes. good business sense. Why should you have to pay for it when you can get it for free? Like, yep, exactly. Until their business is the one that gets stiff, then obviously they might change their mind. Yep. But yeah. yeah, I suppose it's like 
it's yeah, I suppose he could be considered cult, even though it's not like sinister, drastic, or anything. Well, it's well, yeah, like, yet this is still the beginning. It, well, of it, also, you know? he's so stupid, well, and it's also, obvious. He's it's such like, a public figure that it's out in the open, well, you gotta, so it's not. Gotta, it's not going to be like a just overnight. He's going to have people, you know. Well, like, first yeah, you got a mass appeal, and then slowly you get figure out which people are the ones that will actually. Star. You get Cambridge Analytica to figure you. out who's going to be yeah. the ones to do the shit for you. And oh, then yeah, you there fucking you go. <laughs> approach them, right? Oh, it's, just, it's, it's just a fucking album rollout, and he's going to stop doing I'm, I'm not shirt. saying that I, it couldn't be. I hope to goodness he, he does. Because this, like, I don't think I've ever, like, I've been disappointed. I've been angry as a Kanye fan. I haven't been worried as a Kanye fan, and I'm getting worried so is he charged, as a Kanye charged fan. charged for the service, or how does he do that? The Sunday service? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a concert. Okay, see, that's what I thought. Yeah. So it's just put a dollar. So in it's the a box. money grab, but yeah, it could be. But it's then like, he may continue it. Yeah. How but far? eventually he's gonna be like, oh, I won't be there for Sunday service. Well, I mean, it's no. So do you think? Do you think, do you think it's, it's no different? It's no different than a televangelist selling seats to be at their, you know, for sure, for sure. You know, yeah, exactly selling their snake oils. And mm-hmm. you know, and trying, it's like he's gonna try to get tax exemption. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm waiting for. And it's like his whole like, ranch. Trump helped me out. Yeah. <laughs> that what's well, crazy was, is he, he was told he couldn't continue working on whatever because he didn't have the right federal. He didn't have federal permits or something like that. And then, like Trump, like had it fast tracked to get him the permits to continue work on his amphitheater or whatever. <laughs> the, what's What's crazy about that too is um, another piece of the sh- the show and the explanation that came to me is they said that um, cult leaders often to make people identify with them create um an outward enemy or whatever Mm -hmm. and if you look at what kanye had been doing is he did that he brilliantly did that if if i had to say so myself he said boom um i need to create this enemy like there's haters and everybody talks about haters let me put on this maga hat and then i'll have enemies let me talk about yeah him you know, let me talk about. <laughs> oh, he became the enemy. <laughs> on his on his album, he said, um, "What have you been hearing from the Christians? They'd be the first one to judge me, make it like nobody loves me." You know what I mean? And it's like, I could now that uh-huh. I, yeah. So what? yeah, now that now that I see it, it's like says the Christian doing Sunday service to Christians. Yeah, oh, like what? well, if you it's can't, crazy. If you can't beat them, join them. It's crazy. What? And well, it's does he does just he like know the, that? Do Trump supporters and Christians are more likely to back him than a liberal would? The thing or is, someone on if, the on the left. If we like, think of Christianity as a tree, the trunk is Christianity, but this branch is Mormonism. This branch is um, man-made religion. This yeah. this branch is you know. So it's like, and but then you got the it branches narrative. this little weed at the base, right? But then you have another tr- you have another tree next to it that's. <laughs> Christianity, and it's all the people who hate their neighbors. It's all the people who, yeah, like you know. use it to judge or as mm-hmm. a platform to yeah, mm-hmm. you know. And it's it's, I'm not down talking you know religious mm-hmm. for our eighteen viewers, nineteen viewers. That's I'll very generous. It. Um, but it's like, I understand on a bird's eye view because I've been doing research ever since it clicked in my brain that okay. This looks very cultish. What does cult mean? And I encourage you to do your research as well. Mm-hmm. What does cult mean? Um, how do they define cult? How do sociologists define cults? And oh, conservatives you know, it's like, these days, it's all a cult. It is. If a you lot look, of the if shit you that you look say at or the, do. like they sit there and they watch Fox News, who are giving them bad information, like a cult leader would. Yep. And then but they said, but they don't know that it's bad information or they refuse to believe that it's bad information either way i don't know because they're hearing well, it from there's been like multiple the outside people who have or left the, the opposite network. side like there was one guy who left the network after like 23 years mm-hmm. because he said they were too biased now and then he started his own news thing on the internet like a news thing people are looking for affirmation they're not looking for what they can learn from a situation they they want their feelings or thoughts to be validated and mm-hmm. That's what gets you into that cultish way of thinking, mm-hmm. that very team way of thinking. I was arguing with somebody over the internet, which I know is super petty, but whatever. <laughs> um, I was arguing with somebody over the internet, and I'm like, if you vote based on party politics, you fucking lose. You lose every single time. Mm-hmm. Whether it's a Democrat or it's a Republican in office, if you vote party-based, you're going to lose. 
Mm-hmm. Vote issue based. Yep. Figure out what and not you just need. one damn issue. Right. Right. <laughs> Figure out what you need across. There's only one issue that matters. What's so. that? What the wall? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what a lot of people voted for last <laughs> right. time. Yeah, that's that's I'd true. Do it. Oh that's my true. Nah, man. Yeah. Like... I think I think uh, climate change is the only mm-hmm. issue you should vote on, and alternative energy sources. But that kind of is like. That's involved in like, the same thing. I'm I'm thinking of an issue for mankind, and not just I would some say petty shit. I would individual. say sustainability yeah. and infrastructure. Is not saying that it's not important, about. but I'd rather vote on the issue that saves mankind, specifically hundreds of millions of lives of developing nations, yeah. right. rather than what as an example, abortion. Or something oh, like that. Shit, we're gonna have to cut this. But that's <laughs> but that's not bad. I'm not saying sure. I'm I'm pro abortion, but that's like I, I pro it's, choice. It just happens to be shoved in. Yeah, pro pro choice. Being, not pro, being abortion. pro abortion. Is, <laughs> pro you, cho- pro you, choice. You want them all though. You want them all though. Right. Um, but I mean, let's I say get, that in your saying, though, in your sure. religion in your religion. It was required that all children be aborted. Could you challenge? But I don't. Any, there is no religion that does that. Alex. If if there yet, oh God. yeah, you gotta think because there there's is. there's things called NRMs. They don't call them cults anymore. They're called NRMs, new religious movements that mm-hmm. are coming out. Are you talking about China? Just like branches <laughs> well, out and branches out. I'm just out. saying, like. Cause I don't. Did they did they force you to put chi- children up for adoption if you went over the one child no. policy, or did they? If you went over the one child policy, that second one, I'm pretty sure, just kind of went away. There was no. The, the... Actually, no. What it was is you didn't get any economic like yeah. benefits if <laughs> you, you got had like more than you got kind of like shit on for having more than one. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you know, you get so much money or whatever from the party <laughs> or whatever or your yeah. job, but. There was really no benefit to having more than one kid, essentially. Yeah, okay. So it just made things harder. They got rid of that shit. And they tried to have boys because they would be able to take care of the family later yep. on. Yep, yeah. and now they're yeah. fucked because And now of that. there's not enough women. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, India is the same way. Yep. I mean, they'll learn eventually or fall to the wayside, unfortunately. But it's like, yeah, but it's like, it's like issues like that. I just think of like. I would, yeah, bye, Thor. I want to think on like the macro scale, like yeah, even though like sure. pro-choice is like bundled in there. If it was separate, like I'd be like, nope, well, well, I still have to vote for this issue. Well, that's yeah. the way that they like to do it. They that's like, a better way to. They're like, it. oh, see, we're getting more done, but it's like, yeah, but you're shoving shit in there that like a lot of people like probably don't want, just because you know people want the one thing. Mm-hmm. Well, well yeah, that's why. Like, that's yeah, that's why you vote. You know, single issue. Yeah. But it's going to be bundled in with something you don't... It's like your cable. I'm saying when the Congress does <laughs> yeah. it, they always bundle shit in yeah. that you don't want. Right, or that, or the, the like, people who... We, we went to college. It's like, like, I don't want Oprah Winfrey Network. What right? the hell is this shit? <laughs> you know? I'm it's just like, kidding. It's like the people that, just you know... Kidding. Wrote this exclusive ass title for uh-huh. a shit paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh wow, I identify with this title, and that's really cool. But you don't read the whole paper. You're just like, the title's good. You know, it's like, oh, the shit. first paragraph. Oh, that's great, and then it just turns to shit afterwards. Yeah, it's yeah. like, wow, okay. It's that clickbait shit all over again, except yeah. with people and cults and groups and. Mm-hmm. They're like, holy oh, shit. Oh, it was I... a bait and switch. I thought this guy really just loved Jesus. It turns out that he wants me to kill on non-believers. He's got yeah, this like... great it's like he's got this great thesis statement for his paper, and then the rest of it's just like fucking suspicious as fuck. Yeah, it is conspiracy theory. Yeah. Stuff. It's what Fox does, dude, to get you yeah. in. But uh yeah, it's like it's like cable cable channels is like I want these four channels, but you have to pay for sixty. Yep, exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you have to pay for the sixty. That was, now, my, that was my boomer coming out with well, the Oprah coming. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like we're getting F in the B now because you have so many fucking streaming services that you yep. have to subscribe to to get X Y Z. But I still no, I, you don't. I don't miss. I don't miss commercials. I don't miss um, not being able to have exact control over what. Well, I'm like, oh, the average person's like paying like twenty some bucks a month to streaming services, and I'm like, well, that's a lot cheaper than fucking cable. So I don't know how people yeah, are making for the sure. comparison, right? Yeah, and re- I did. I mean, really, you only need two streaming services to have yeah. enough. Content. But that ends up being oh, like sure. twenty. Bucks yeah. or more. Usually. Hulu really. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Bad. I don't really even know if Hulu is actually worth what you pay for. Well, it. Probably not. You're I mean, better off like getting it for free from Sprint. Or if you yeah. get it in a bundle deal where if you get Spotify, you pay an extra dollar and you can have Hulu or some yeah. whatever mm-hmm. fucking deal they have at 
yeah. whatever time. I just have but. Netflix and Prime, and I don't want Prime because I don't watch it. I don't <laughs> order watch... shit anymore. I'm waiting for Chris to watch the boys. Didn't What's watch, crazy you is didn't watch I think the man next... in the high castle. Like I haven't watched finished. it yet. I, I think next yet. time you're over my crib, you'll have to see exactly what I'm talking about because that shit is not working. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Not that we're doing anything illegal. Your TV. <laughs> I don't know if your TV. Needs to be able to support the Amazon app, but if it's a smart TV, I don't know why it wouldn't. Well, it has the Amazon app. It's just not letting me sign in for hmm. whatever reason. That's weird. Oh, you're typing it in wrong, man. Let's see. Let's see if I'm fat fingering it. Expanse season Definitely four comes happens. out too for Prime. So. Oh yeah, that's gonna be out here in the sometime in December, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'll probably end up watching that, even though it's already concluded and it's done. Might as well there watch are, it. Like seven or eight books now, or something like that. So Jesus Christ, yeah. So they're still going. Do you guys see the? I didn't make a list for this week, so this this week might jump around a lot. Yeah. Jump around. Uh, did you guys see that today's Black Friday, by the way? Oh, with the day that we're filming. I know what you're going at. Did over. you see <laughs> that Pornhub? Has a lifetime membership for three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Yeah, three. How much is their thing a month, by the way? Probably. I thought premium's free mm-hmm. nowadays. No, that, that's like trials, I think. Yeah. Just string together probably, different trials. I can't imagine. Just it's probably like ten bucks. Um, yeah, well, I get, then it wouldn't be that bad of a deal, I guess. Well, you get you get you get access yes. to all the premium content. Yep. 4K and VR. Mm, VR. Yeah. Mm. You haven't seen <laughs> VR porn yet. What? It's a big deal. I don't apparently. understand what. Pre- See, call me naive, unknowing, whatever. I have no idea what premium content is. Like, what is that? It is the stuff. It is the high. They put it behind a paywall. No, it, it's the high, the, the high production stuff. The stuff that it's they. It's the write stuff that they'll for. show you ten minutes of the fifty minute video of. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, there you no. go. <laughs> That's a, it's, it, it, it's the top. It's the top production studios that make the 4K content. Probably like, what do they have now? Because 1080 like Brazzers and stuff. Right? Okay. Like shit, like Brazzers, Smeller Vision, Naughty oh, America. Sure. Sure. Maybe if that even is even still a thing. What else? They're the ones where you're watching it, and then it's like 10 minutes in. It's like, oh, it's about to start, and then it cuts off, and it's like, oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the funniest part because they give you like trailers and yep, stuff. Yep, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> But, okay, this is going to get not safe for work. But, but you know, like, in the trailers and stuff, they have, like, the 10-minute video, and it's got, like, all, like, the highlight positions and Oh, yeah, stuff. I've seen that. But it's, I've seen that. Shut up, you know. <laughs> but it's, like... But it's, like... Well, I was talking about Star Wars or whatever. <laughs> it's the same formula. It's the highlight positions, but then it, like, fades to black as the dude pulls out and, like, gets ready for the money uh. shot. <laughs> and it fades to black, and it's, like... Gotcha, it's bitch. like... It's, like... Okay, like <laughs> rewind. I didn't want that anyway. Like I personally didn't need that, so I'm okay. So well, you don't want to go to the website to no. see the whole video. Oh, That's and it's funny. also those those uh, like oh, it's like the ten minute video mm-hmm. or whatever. But then the nine minutes is the entire plot set up. That's what I was saying. And then oh. the last That's minute, what I was saying. it like goes through ten seconds of like six positions <laughs> <laughs> and then fades to black, and it's like oh. Okay. It's like, you bastard. Yeah. Hilarious. You got me. Shit. That's Some of those. Is, it, I mean, there's good plot in porn. Mm-hmm. I think that's a I mean, deal, though. That's a probably. steal. Fucking three. That's like three, three years worth of for life or something. I don't know. Probably. It's you, cheaper than two years shit. of World of Warcraft, and how much longer are you gonna? <laughs> have well, you know, Pornhub like owns like most of those other sites too, right? Yeah. Nowadays. Pornhub is uh, is the yeah. juggernaut of pornography. Yep. People are talking like they want Pornhub to make. Like to become like a YouTube a where you can service? have yeah like a streaming service. <laughs> and they have Pornhub. They this? have Pornhub Live. I know. Yeah. No. And so <laughs> one of, one of my TV. friends suggested that we put the podcast on Pornhub. God dang it! <laughs> I don't think that would be a bad idea. I think it would be hilarious, <laughs> but no place, one would watch straight. it there. The Prime Four and her ass cast is what. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh my god! Of, that is super funny. <laughs> That's when we do our uh, like, like our traveling show. <laughs> like, like we do a show and then it's the Prime Porter ass show like after in the hotel. Oh dang it! <laughs> That's super funny. Uh, cut that whole thing. <laughs> 
Yep. And, and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I guess. More moral of that story is you have to sign uh, up for premium content. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta pay to get the money shot. It's, well, that's where we're at right now. Well, speaking of that, did you see that uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is gonna have mocap sex scenes in it? Yeah, that was that was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I, I don't even know what the fuck that's like. How how do you think the people in the mocap suits like did that? Do you think that was like the most? Uncomfortable I'm pretty thing sure in the world? it was porn stars and they just railed each other. <laughs> Could be. That's the only way to do it. That's how Bryce would do it. And then you see in the, and then yeah. you see in the credits for the motion capture unit, it's got like fucking just names that you recognize. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That would be funny as hell. That shit. Keanu Reeves. Reeves is on here. Keanu Reeves on the fuck? <laughs> it's like just Keanu Reeves and then a bunch of like female porn stars. Right. Sprinkle a little Billy Bob Thornton in there. Oh god. No, they probably yeah, go with yeah. someone. Never mind. That guy's. That guy's fucked up. Can you imagine That's being fine. like just like a motion, perf- or like no, they have to wear whatever you call. They have to wear. What if that becomes? No, like they, they have to wear like the green suit with the white balls on it, so that you can yeah. fucking like They're capture the mocap. Well, yeah, but you just cut the crotch out and then go to town. Yeah. Like, God dang. They're, probably, <laughs> they're probably just wearing the suit. <laughs> and can you it's imagine just kinda, if that you know, becomes a huge thing and it's like all these people leave? You could do audio too. Leave porn to become mocap sex people. Possible. There's some Yo, companies that I'm the sure mo-cap do that. The mocap sex union. <laughs> Yo, that's that's one of the most anonymous ways to do porn ever. Yo, know? like yeah. you didn't see my face in there. You could be ugly and do it, right? Yeah. I was yeah. the Hulk the other day. <laughs> yeah. Does this look familiar? Oh god. <laughs> god <dang. laughs> Are we back again? And then you do. <laughs> <laughs> then you do like a jackhammer and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 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 that does fantastic. look familiar. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, no, we don't have to cut that. I don't think. I don't think it's yeah, that By the way, did you see those laws now? Which ones? For, did you guys keep up on the YouTube laws? I uh, you child be, protection. You have, you have to like say yes or no if it's kind of suitable for children or whatever. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, I already marked ours all. No. Yeah. yeah we'll I'm like, no kid. Well, they're gonna watch it anyway. It's gonna give them mm. the. You have to be 18 plus to view this content. Know, is is that what that's gonna do? Unless you have to have an age on your YouTube. They'll probably hit yes, then it'll make them log in and they'll have their fake age on their YouTube and they'll watch it. For sure. (laughs) Yeah. Well, they said, like, unless you want to individually go through each video. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I don't remember what videos I said cunt on and shit. Yeah, exactly. Just do where we talked about sex, robots, and porn. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's an important talk. (laughs) Super funny. It's the first female who comes on this podcast. I, we're going to talk about that again. Oh, God. And we're going to be like, no, I want their perspective. When is it cheating? <laughs> like, if they can do simple math, is that cheating? Oh, jeez. If, if you can say, Alexa, play Rod Stewart, like, during it, is that cheating? Is that too far? That was the Rod Stewart. When they got coming, AI. Is the Rod Stewart coming from this, the robot? <laughs> Every day I spend my time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Give it to me, Rod. What? And then it just changed to Hulk Hogan. Huh? <laughs> the Macho Man. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, brother. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that shit is super funny. Oh, okay, <laughs> moving on. Uh, um, uh, I also have an article here where a man spent $1.4 million on a game character. Yep. Which his friend then accidentally sold for $552. Yep. Holy shit. And of course shit. it was in like China or something. Yes, and it's Justice Online. It's an MMORPG from China. Where do you, do, want to know you get... how, do you want to know how it happened? Because I read into it. Okay. The guy bought that character. Then he loaned it to another guy. Okay. And then the guy was supposed to like sell it back to him for like 50000 or something like that, I guess. And the guy accidentally listed it for like $552 on the open marketplace. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone else bought it, but then they eventually after they like went through everything, they like got it back to the guy or whatever. Okay, so he did not lose a $1.4 million. He almost did, though. (laughs) Wow. Did you know that you could... 
Like you can, people actually make money off this. Like you mm-hmm. can still sell like RuneScape accounts, oh, yeah. World of Warcraft accounts that have like a rare mount on them or max mm-hmm. level shit. Like people make money off that. It's crazy. But how? What game could you get to one point four million dollars in? Fucking crazy. It's, Millions. Yeah, it's some Justice Online, wherever that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah MMO from China. So it's like. That guy's really rich, apparently, and... Or his parent family's rich because they run one of the factories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Sure. I, I, no, I'm just saying. That's so yeah. realistic. Like, in China, like, hey. people who own the businesses, they Could you imagine, like, yeah. if, like, the guy's friend's like, hey, man, dude, and I want to play this game, but I don't want to be a noob, man. Just let me borrow your character or whatever, like... So he's like, oh, sure, you can rent it from me. Then, then you're like sell it back to me for, like, a small amount or whatever, and that somehow, I guess that's what they must have tried to do. Like, no, like, you always see, like, all the time, like, these rich, like, ki- like kids from China whose parents are rich, like, just blowing a ton of money I on suppose that's Yeah, how, like, rappers I and suppose shit. that's how they Probably legally crazy. transfer the accounts that, that you're not, like, multiple people on an account or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm. Probably. That's, that's probably mean. what it is. Oh, man, that's mind-boggling. <laughs> you hear stories of people doing that for loot boxes and shit and... But it's never on a scale of one point four million dollars, <laughs> right? right? Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Fucking terrible. Um, uh, Battleborn, the let's see, what was this? I don't even remember. Um, it was like an Overwatch type game, I believe. I never. Actually yeah, it was it. an Overwatch type game. Who the fuck was it from? Was it Cliff Blazinski? Was that his game? Uh, that was Bullet Storm, wasn't it? Maybe. Let me check this out. Well, anyway, Battleborn, the servers are shutting down in 2021. 2K Publishing. Uh, developer Gearbox. Oh, that's right. It was Gearbox. Why I was so excited because I hate Gearbox. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Publisher 2K announced plans to sunset the game entirely. Yep. Um, they literally stopped selling it, and then eventually they set a date when it's going to end. Yeah, they're going to mm. stop doing microtransactions by the end of this year, and then yep. 2021, it's... Just gonna be a year of it, and then they're closing the doors. I guess. Apparently, they yeah. said there's enough community Gearbox is where they're Borderlands, gonna, right? Go for a while. Mm. I believe so. Gearbox yeah. is Borderlands, Alex. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. So Randy Pitchford gets a pitchfork up his ass with Battleborn. That's good. It's <laughs> good because he's. Well, apparently, they haven't done an update for it. I think since I want to say it's like, like 2017 or something like that, or 18, one of the two. Oh, that's mind-boggling, though. Holy I'm shit! Pretty sure that's what it said. It's sad. I remember I knew someone who was playing a game. I want to say it was like Azure Online or something. I think I've heard of that. And they shut it down, and he was still playing it. And he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I can't believe they're just fucking like they can just they're just shutting an MMO down. They're just mm-hmm. closing the doors. I'm like, it makes sense. Like if if money's not coming in after so long, you know, close the fucking doors. Yep. <laughs> but uh, they did it for you know. Oh, well, for older shit like uh, Fantasy Star Online for the Dreamcast, that ran for a long time after. I was say, you have to have, like, a cash cow to keep it afloat if it's going to be, like, that kind of thing. Like, yeah. like Battle.net with, like, Diablo and 2 and stuff. They got, like, their cash cow wow so that they could just keep the bat- D2 going. Yep. Well, yeah, because, I mean, oh, what was it? What was it? Um, Battle.net for the original Diablo, um, it ran on a single computer. <laughs> the entirety of it. That's funny. Was one computer, uh, David Brevik, not that guy, said it ran on. <laughs> and and, and, and it, it, that was mind blowing for back in the day. But Diablo 2, I can't mm-hmm. imagine, was so much more. Yeah. So it's probably like one. Well, right now, they probably, probably like one, one of, server. Probably one blade of a server thing. Yeah. Jeez. Surrounded <laughs> by WoW yep, servers exactly. and shit. Remember when WoW had where you could buy like for the anniversary a blade for like a blade of the WoW server, a retired server yep, blade that yep. wasn't up. They said, "Oh, there's anymore. nothing on it, but it was used for WoW." So they had like a plaque on it and shit. And it was said, like, this was a uh, part of the one of the, yep. the the blades for this realm or whatever. Like, yep. that's a that's a big deal for a collector. Yep. Though. Oh yeah. Like I'd be interested in a Diablo. I think it was like two or three hundred dollars for it too, and it was like, <laughs> how much is it now? I wonder. Uh, I don't know. We could try Increase. to eBay that shit. For sure. Ross, you want to eBay that? I can look it up. Um, So, according... <laughs> I... I, <laughs> I, uh... What did I do for collecting stuff, though, now that we're talking about collecting? No, I don't want to talk about that shit. Because <laughs> it did go well. <laughs> oh, I, uh, 
I did a I did a capacitor change for my Atari Lynx two, oh, which is I an old ass handheld. What was it? The cheat. Well, let me see here. I see one up for twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, see, you fucked up. I see one up for five thousand dollars. I don't know, like, Jeez. what's the what's the going view price? more? Let's see if I can view more. It's probably like the more important the realm. Yeah, I only see. Two what do they look like? Is it like just tiny? It's little, got like a no, it's an back actual on server it. blade. Yeah, and that is really cool, Can actually. Wow. Yep. Hmm. See this server blade right here? This is where I fucked your mom. Right? <laughs> it's five, actually, it's five grand. <laughs> yeah, five grand. Because they, they started doing server blades because you just have a system that just pushes air straight through the blade and out the back and it keeps it cool. Yep. Mm. That's pretty cool. Fucking sweet. Um, so they're loud as fuck when they're running. Mm. <laughs> because you have to force all that air through, but... Yeah. Just get Kanye in there. He'll force enough air. <laughs> that's, hot, that's hot air. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot air. Um, but I did a I did a, cap- a capacitor change on my Atari Lynx 2, which is like an old handheld, and it ended. I it still ended up the speaker was shot, and the LCD still needs replacing. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like I'm done putting money into it. And I'm just gonna because it's for display anyway. Yep, yep. Like eventually, I'm just gonna have it in a d- display case. So I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. Like it doesn't look great, no sound, but it's not still, like I'm gonna play it a lot. Still functional though, yeah. Yeah, you could sound. you could play Ninja Gaiden on it. Fucking sweet. Yeah, because this is what, the only game I got for it right now. Um, but according, moving on to like TV and shit, I don't have a list, so we're just gonna jump around. Do we have any hip hop shit anymore? No. Mm. DMX do anything? Not really. Yeah. DMX do anything? No. Um, so according to Mandalorian director Werner Herzog, yep. who is another legendary director. Yep. Or he is a legendary director. Actor, I don't know about director, the guy who did uh, actor, director, producer. He did like everything. Yeah. Cool. Um, Werner Herzog got upset doing a scene with, uh, Baby Yoda in The Mandalorian. They did a take with the puppet, uh-huh. and then they took the puppet away uh-huh. to redo the scene, and they said that if it doesn't test well, like, they're going to do the puppet, yep. and if the puppet doesn't test well, they have the other scene do where CGI. it will be CGI. Yep. Yep. Mm. And Werner Herzog apparently got upset yep. when they had the idea of a backup CGI Baby Yoda in case the puppet didn't test well. He said, you are cowards, keep it. <laughs> yep. and, in, 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 and in his voice, which is like... The most ridiculous the most voice Germanic in the world. sounding voice ever. Yeah. Yes, the yeah. most the most sinister Germanic voice you heard, sounding. You ever. saw the first Jack Reacher movie. He was the bad guy. So wow. yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it's you would you would recognize him if you heard him. Probably okay. it's it's very very German and sinister sounding. Mm-hmm. But could you imagine him saying that? Mm-hmm. But the puppet is testing. Very well, by the way. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They just, they just like, they rushed. They wanted, like, a backup, just in case. Yeah, they rushed to release the merch. But mm-hmm. it's currently shirts right now, I think. They're like, we don't yeah. want to reshoot, so we're going to do both, and then if we don't need the CGI. So they wanted to waste money, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, the, the merch well, you that understand. actually released, you could tell it was rushed, because it's just, like, screen-printed shirts and shit like that, but... Yeah. Once the plushes and the action figures. That's the one I want, the one on the left. I mean, test audiences yeah, help a lot. Oh, I clicked it. <laughs> yeah, because here's the deal, right? I have spoken. They put the next Star Wars film in front of test audiences and everyone hated it. So that's hopefully true. they're working on fixing it, you know? Yeah. I feel bad because that's like ending something is the that's most right. difficult part of any show or TV or, or any show or movie. And well, these, they're ending Star Wars, like these, the main story. These last three films are just utterly fucking terrible compared to any of well, even two, even two the prequels. So far, well, okay. I didn't. I didn't. Are you mind. just guessing the one's gonna be? I'm awful? guessing from what I've heard, the rumors it's just gonna be bad. I People didn't mind like, them. When the original guys not doing it, how great can they be though? Well, they People have shit on the prequels. Have, well, what's real her bad. face? Uh, Kennedy that is was running Lucas. things, but. I would like to see a trilogy done by Kevin Feige. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't really? know if they'd want him to branch off to so many franchises, well, though. the guy did Wonders... He did do a take, or he did do one of the versions, I think he's, and they didn't I think like he's going to actually mm-hmm. be doing his own standalone Star Wars film, at, or, or a series at some point, though, is what I heard. Yeah, probably. probably. Mm-hmm. But, um... 
the writing credits, I believe, did come out for that. Mm-hmm. And George Lucas was not on that list. Okay. Mm. But he could have directed still. They claim that uh, for this for that film theory. they brought in George Lucas to look at it, but who says they're even going to... Maybe he did edits or cuts or something. Like, yeah. Like shit like that. It's kind of basically what they tried to do with it is just pretty much get all the old people on screen and kill them all <laughs> so that people can't be attached to what Star Wars was anymore and they'll have to accept what it is now. Mm. And carry on with and new characters. And also keep buying, so you're saying keep buying Land- more merchandise. So you're saying Lando's going to die. It's basically now they make more <laughs> and money. Chewbacca. It's like Star. It's like Power Rangers. They make more money off the toys than the actual. So yeah. yeah. They can produce mediocre films and people will still buy the toys. They're still so putting a lot of money into those films though. For sure. Yeah, yeah, with high sales. high ass direct high paid directors too, like yeah. like it's well, not number cheap. one, Ryan Johnson should have never been allowed to to helm a Star Wars film. If yeah, and he did the bad, second one, which yep. how I bad hated. that movie was. It's okay. They should have had JJ do all three. It's like if they were gonna Someone must have just told him to be as edgy as possible, is all I could fucking figure. I, di- I didn't mind it, but there is a lot you could pick apart from that movie. What they did to Mark Hamill? It's see the thing the thing that made me upset the most with the new movies is, is the guy that, ordering all the things to fire at that one guy because it's totally like they'd never do that. <laughs> I don't think it's that. Yeah, exactly. But um it was the fact that they they based the movies on new characters rather than just like having a send off with the original cast. Like, well, you can have new characters well, if there's actual development in those characters, but sure. there they're, is. They're there really story wise, like the, the 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 these three films haven't really. Well, they were claiming that Leia was supposed to be like the key to all of it, like, but then when she died, they had to like rewrite the whole last movie and mm-hmm. change part of the other one too. I think they could oh. CGI or like they did fucking because uh, she was supposed to be the last her. Jedi, from what I heard. Mm. Because there was supposed, to, I think they even said that they had scenes where it was supposed to be like Luke, like Luke trained her a little bit or something like that. Mm. That's crazy. like in the <laughs> like that was rumor stuff. Yeah. Well, what was well they it, would have well, to do CGI for that anyway. Was no, it no, was saying, it Rogue like, One saying, like, where they, they had, had plans was for it Rogue it. One yeah. where they they CGI'd in Peter Cushing for quite a few fucking scenes? They yeah. could probably well do yeah that and Leia. Yeah. Apparently they didn't feel like doing that though. No, I'm sure it was expensive. Well, shit. you yeah. you know the Screen Actors Guild would probably be like, well, why don't you just hire actors who are alive? Because they they probably don't get guild rates if uh, they're oh if it's not a someone who's still alive. Good boy. Those likeness rights would probably just all go to the estate, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, we'll see, but it's going to be very difficult to end that. Yeah. But then people really shit on the prequels a lot. They still do. People and are realizing that hey, the prequels weren't really that bad compared to the fucking Clone last Wars Jedi. was bad. <laughs> Clone Wars was bad. I'm Attack never going to come in. Episode 2 Never was, taking it back. Never uh, taking it back. I episode, hated it. Episode 1 is really slept on. I loved Episode 1. The CGI doesn't hold up and the, the kid... Uh, didn't the matter. thing is, is I saw matter. Episode 1 in theaters. I did too. And mm-hmm. I don't... I don't like... Me too. Actually, did I? I, I? I didn't. I know that. I think so. I saw Episodes 2 and 3 in theaters, but I heard Episode 1 through the theater wall, so I knew what happened. Because I was in a different movie, and you could hear Star Wars over the movie you were watching. Oh, <laughs> shit. how fucking loud it was. Yeah, yeah that would have been in the sweet. old theater before they had remodeled it, too. Probably yeah, yeah. Fucking definitely. Sweet. Um, yeah. Where it was Parkwood 18 kind of before like, Marcus Theaters. How much of me loving that movie is nostalgia or not? I haven't been able to answer that question. Well, the yet, question is... I'm going to answer it soon. I rewatched the prequels, actually, like, two years ago, probably. Oh, I, I didn't mind really it. really fucking... Well, well Bro? Well, except for Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Here's the deal, though. If Palpatine survives a fall through a fucking, uh, I don't like, know ra- like a reactor, how is Mace Windu still, like, how is he dead, you know? I don't Just think he did die. Him. But yeah. that's books. Yeah. Yeah? I don't I think know. he, I think he may have lived, but that's in the books. It, it, don't quote me on that. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, that don't matter anymore. Well, I want to sure. hear some motherfuckers in this last movie, then. Well, he could come yeah. back, because they're talking, you know, they're, they're bringing ghost. Hayden Christensen back, they're bringing... I heard that they filmed a bunch of footage with Hamill and Christensen, and they cut it all. Is the last that I heard. Mm. For the final mm-hmm. movie? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Oh, because they were going to have Hayden Christensen as a force Because, ghost? no, they just wanted, they just did voiceover work and showed Ray on the screen instead of having the actual characters in the flesh. 
Oh, I'm there still to be a okay lot of with flashbacks that. with Luke going back to like the destruction of his temple or whatever, you know? Cut yeah. all that. Jeez. They only showed a little bit of that. Because uh, they supposedly brought him in to create, write, and, you know, be in a bunch of scenes about that. And I guess that it doesn't fit uh, Kennedy's uh, vision um, of the the trilogy, you know, which is what we got in the first two movies. <laughs> you know. Um. <laughs> That's fucked up. I uh, see it's there's the so wrong people see, are in charge well, of this. Well, you got the people who are like, well, basically all the the powerful male characters are dying in this trilogy, right? Mm-hmm. And there's really no explanation for why it's necessary, you know. But what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying that it's pushing a feminist agenda. Oh, because really the lead yeah. is a female? Not necessarily. I, well, I think a lot that's been mirrored a lot. I've seen a, a lot of that on social media. Um, not that I agree or you know with it or whatever. You but, can't really prove that that's what they're trying to do. But like character development wise, where Ray is now from where let's say Luke was from movie one to movie three, I haven't seen her grow all that much. It is the craziest mm-hmm. thing in the world to think about it that like one of the actors actually like dies in real life, but they're gonna still use the character with CGI. Yet these characters that are alive they had die in the movies that they could have kept using. Yeah. <laughs> it's a flip of a, it's a flip yeah. of a coin though. You can't predict real death. You I know. know well, but that's yeah. That's definitely ironic. I mean, Harry, Harry Potter least. just replaced Dumbledore, so, you know. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, well, well, well hey, they were, they, hey, well, they replaced Paul Walker with his brother for some of them movies. That's and, true. Yeah. yeah. You, well, they CGI'd Paul Walker's face over his brother. Yeah. 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 But, That'd be a heavy, heavy, heavy torch to carry. That's fucking insane. Yeah, right? I'm excited to see where they're ending it. I mean, yeah. you'll probably want to end it. <laughs> What? They said they're that gonna keep going. Though, they said that there's a kid who's gonna get to see the movie early for a Make a Wish, and I'm like, don't do it, <laughs> don't mm. do it. God, you're gonna That's wish you you're gonna wish you hadn't yeah. seen it. What That's if he comes out and says he loved it? What are you gonna do? No. This I'll just like Alex will be like, like well, kid's dying was you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the kid gonna be like? That movie gave me more cancer. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. And George they, Lucas is like. Don't yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. How well, are I how mean, are we liking the Mandalorian so far, gents? Good shit. I like I, it I a really, lot. Yeah. I so, well, it. John, I'm pissed off that it's half hour episodes. It's really fucking well, annoying. Well, I mean, yeah, here's is. the deal. John Favreau, like he's been behind some of well, not necessarily that he like wrote or directed like all the successful like movies, but he was heavily involved with the first Iron Man. Yeah. You know. And which then I mean he jump has... started the whole Yep. MCU or whatever. Yeah. I mean, Except he's, Blade. he's creative. And, <laughs> and it's inside of movies, outside of movies. I'm actually watching, um, it's like one episode left, the chef show on yep. um, Netflix with yeah, him in there. I and it's like, that. I saw all that. yeah, it's like he draws, he cooks, you know, the, he's, a, he's a really cool creative force. So it's, it's cool to see him involved in it. Also, um, I was a little bit talk about him being in charge of Star Wars after this is all said and done. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. Well, he just did the Lion King. Him and that uh, guy that's got underneath him right now, that guy who did the uh, Clone Wars stuff and shit, like Hmm. the uh, cartoon things and Mm -hmm. shit. That guy's the guy who's doing the shit with him or whatever. Mm. I don't remember what his name is. But is did he do the Clone Wars or did he do the Feloni or something oh, like that? Feloni? I think his last name is or something. Feloni. Like that. That's only a couple letters from the word felon. I don't know. Right. Well, he was the <laughs> he was the one that George Lucas like chose to like be like his successor, kind of. Oh shit! Pretty oh, much, pretty much. Oh, you think Disney cares about? Like, yeah, Disney don't care about yeah, that shit. Yeah. The artistic yeah. purity of Star Wars. No, yeah. Feige just... did at some point it seemed, but <laughs> in the end, he's just a corporate dog like the rest of them. So. For sure. Not about artistic integrity. It's yeah. about. They're like fun. fans will really love this. Nah, eh, got it. <laughs> right? Doesn't fit my vision of just that casino and. Right. The something, li- about the movie not being something, something about yeah. rescuing space horses or some shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't mind that. All to have some really scene care. with some little kid using force power at the end of the movie or whatever. Man. <laughs> it's supposed is. to be the last Jedi, not. New ones. So that, means, <laughs> so that means that that kid's gonna be a Sith then, right? 
That'd be well, the kid was like a slave kid, lens. so you know it depends on what happens, I guess. Oh yeah, he'll grow up with a chip a chip on his shoulder. It's... Maybe he's maybe it's just that's all it's some foreshadowing that he's going to be like an Anakin. Ooh. You never know, Anakin. Yeah, he was working for Watto, wasn't he? What if that kid is actually like who they need? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know. And then speaking of the kid, do what do we what do we think the kid is? Do we think the kid is a Yoda clone? Oh, the Yoda clone. I don't know if we can't talk about that, can we? Mandalorian? It's been like a a month now since the first episode. Well, the first episode, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, these came like. So let's say. I'm not going to get too deep. Do you think that it will be in the last movie? It yes, very well could for be sure. The movie. You think That's for sure? Merchandise wise, for sure. No, like, baby won't be. Cash grab? Uh, it would be fully it'd be, like, it'd be like 80 years old then. Well, how young would it be? Well, it's well, 50 like, now and it's yeah, still a baby, so maybe it's like sure. toddler. Like, yeah, yeah, toddler. Yeah, toddler Yoda. It's <laughs> so adorable. Um, Unless yeah. something happens in the show where yeah, it right, accidentally yeah. gets crushed by something. Yeah. Yep. I think, yeah. <laughs> something with like Yoda type power can like yeah. get crushed and killed. But, well. Yeah, so is it like a clone? Is it Yoda's I've heard that baby? theory. Well, the thing is... Or, is it, or is it just that race in particular? Like, like in the books, that race has an extra, like, sub-brain that has to do with their, like, mental ability. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's why they're so good at, like, the Force. Well, their, mm. yeah, their connection to the Force is, yep. like, stronger than yep. other races. But if you and, go prequel, uh-huh. Yoda has... Uh, the midichlorians, yeah. Yeah, well, when they put it down to a physical aspect, mm-hmm. yep. they're they're like Anakin's. They're like, oh my god, his midichlorian count almost rivals Yoda's, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Yoda's got like a stupid high. Yep. To, just to be fair, though, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader was was one of the, the most powerful yeah. Force people. Pretty much in existence. Well, it was created by the Force as retribution for Dark Play just doing all this shit to try to influence the Force to the dark side or create a. Yeah, some people suggest that life, you know uh, that Anakin was created from the Force. It was the Force mm-hmm. striking back at him. That's why Palpatine. That's why Play just feared the child. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh. Well, Play just feared the child. Palpatine's like maybe I can use him for something. Mm-hmm. And they do, and it worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Uh, yeah, play just wanted. Uh, yeah, it's just there's a lot of that. None of it's canon anymore, so it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, well, the prequels are, I guess. So Darth Play just the wise still exists in yep. Star Wars. Wait, do the prequels count? Yeah. Or still, do they just get rid of everything? They're canon. They only wrote out the. Well, the stuff that they can't make any money. Like, off like of oh, Metaclorians. Let's just not mention that ever again after the first movie. <laughs> Jeez. They should have never had done Metaclorians because yeah. it just ruined every what the Force stands for, mm-hmm. which is not something you can be born with. Well, syringe saying, suck out of someone and yeah. stick it somewhere. Well, they're saying there's a special the force. thing in your blood that lets you use tap, like, into, tap it. into it. Yeah, yeah, which is that not everybody has. Yeah, and then you could do dr- blood transfusions to take well, hey, hey, potentially. Hey, 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 wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. It's like it's like fucking Yagmoth and uh, yeah. planeswalkers and magic. Are they gonna have to remove pretty much the entirety of Harry Potter because some people couldn't use magic, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, pro- probably. I mean, mm. that's racist, right? Because they're saying that one group. Well, that's more powerful than another. I don't know if racist yeah. is the term. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. That's funny. What, what's, what's that other term? Like some sort of weird like prejudice or something? Prejudice. I don't know. Yeah. I'm wearing a Sanic shirt and we haven't talked about Sanic. I'm seeing the movie. I just know. When that. is it coming out? I have no idea. I was about to say. Early next spring maybe. Probably. I Who like knows. the way the internet bullied them into heard getting the, their shit together. I heard the Godzilla Kong movie got pushed back to like November or something like that of like next year. My son's excited Really? For that. Yeah. Hey, Good. it means that the movie will be even better because they'll have more time to work on it's it. More likely, something it. else was going to come out and they didn't want to compete with it. Mm, it's possible. Mm. Of their own, probably. Either of their own or like something just. The company that's yeah. bankrolling it has another film coming out that they don't want it to interfere with. Mm. Could be, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, that's a shitty show that we had. No list. Um, that's all I have to talk about. Anybody got anything else? Nope. I think we're pretty good. All right, everybody, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the bell. I don't give a shit. We'll catch you next time. Late. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the episode. You can catch us currently at the Prime 4 Podcast on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, 
and Podcast Addict for audio only. If you want to see how fugly we look in real life, you can also catch us on YouTube under the Prime 4 Podcast.